Hi guys, Belinda here. Welcome back. Um, so again, I'm going to be doing or using this uh, recipe of mine. Just going to give that a tilt. And this here is a um, 24 by 30 centimeter. So I'm going to be trying the swap. Let's see how that goes. Just getting some good coverage. Yeah, I'm not too sure if those are um, lumps in the paint. Well, to be safe then, sorry though. I'm going to just take that paint and just cover the edges a little bit. So this time, I know in my last video, I, um, you know, it, it turned out really beautifully. I just would like it to be a, a bit more colourful. Maybe a little bit brighter. So we'll see, I'm using the same colour paints, the same palette. So let's just see what else I can get from that. Righty here. Make sure everything is nice and um, straight. bit of this first just to make a little something for it to ride on a little bit on the edges we don't want to fall short yep and then I'll go in with some yellow in there and then I'll do the blue so I know the blue in the uh, well it's turquoise it might turn it to green let's just see Just wondering if I should put more purple. Yeah, maybe I'll just put a little bit more purple. And then up a little bit more turquoise, very thin one. Yep. And then the white, because that's going to be my swipe. And that is what is 
my recipe. Let's just move all of this out the way so I don't have any accidents. So if you watched my last video, or my pre well, one of my last videos where I did, <laughs> I did a swipe and uh, I kind of lost the plastic, it dropped. <sighs> it is a bit tricky getting this plastic to, maybe I need to grab it a little bit higher. Like that, actually, that's better. And get it in there. Oh, yeah. I've got some beautiful cells happening. Okay, let's turn this around. Grab my second piece. very very nice and I'm not going to tilt it I want my cells to be quite roundish so let me just give that a torch I do see one or two little things that I need to fix up. you dare go away <laughs> stay away okay so I want to where's my little thing oh wow these bits here that are actually on the paper here are amazing they actually look like they are like a ring pull for some reason. I have another one here that also looks like it. Um, <laughs> let's do this. Just going to improvise, guys. Because I need this here. Sort it out. Yep. And then I saw something in there which has now made my cell a little bit funny looking. Sometimes this torch does not want to cooperate with me. I'm going to give this a torch, another torch, once my torch has decided to <laughs> stop having its little fit. And then I'll bring you in for a close-up. So 
I'm just covering up the edges, making sure that the canvas has a good even amount of coverage. Gone. Hmm. Okay guys, so this has been sitting for probably about 10 minutes. I did manage to torch it once again. And um, the cells have come out really beautifully. There's all of these colorful rings around the cells and I really love how you know the colors in the background came through with the cells popping up so to me it kind of looks like you know one of those um, what do they call it like with the voice thing that goes up and down you know a voice recording those cells are absolutely stunning. I think the colors came out amazing. And I'll show you from this angle. Hopefully there's not too much light coming through the window. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. Those beautiful cells. Well guys, um, again, thank you very much for watching and all your lovely comments. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. So you don't miss any future videos. And at some point I will tell you what my um, well, I'll have a link to what my pouring medium is. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching once again, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.